Well, welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another beautiful day here in Western Pennsylvania. We went from summer to fall literally overnight. It was real hot there for a while. Temperatures dropped, it's been staying really nice and cool. The leaves are starting to turn, it's a beautiful time of year. But anyway, I am down here at the sawmill today. I have kind of a little special project to do for a friend. One of those Pinterest things, you know what I mean? Pinterest will be the death of America. I've got a sawmill, they've got an idea, so we're gonna try something. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. And by the way, speaking of sawmills, in the next couple weeks, as soon as I get caught up with a few things, uh, we will be assembling that Woodmiser LX55 sawmill, and we'll be trying it out. I know a few guys have been asking about that, and there's something else I want to mention before I get started. Oh yeah, if you didn't see the last video, I'll put it up above. Uh, we did a whole breakdown on the new building, you know, the hobby barn, on what it costs, the whole process. If you didn't see it, check it out. And a few people mentioned I did not include the cost of prepping the site. And the only reason I didn't do that was, you know, a lot of people have a big level site kind of ready to go. We had to uh, clear a whole bunch of trees, strip all the topsoil, move a whole bunch of dirt. I had the rental machine, uh, that KX80 excavator, but I got a lot of other things done with it when I had it. I had about $4,500 in equipment rental, fuel, all that, and a lot of my time. I'm guessing if you had to pay somebody to do everything that we did up there, you'd probably be looking at about $10,000. But you know, that all depends on where you live and what type of contractors you have in your area. But anyway, with that being said, time to get started on this little red pine log here. All I need out of this one are a few uh, live edge 36 inch pieces. Look at this crew coming. Hey Archie. Piper, Ruger. What's he have? He done amazing. How's it going, Hunter? Yes. Did you guys go for a little hike? We did. So you working on a video today for your channel? I have been for a few days now. You've got some, uh, the girls had a competition yesterday. You'll see yeah. that. If you want to check that out, Melissa will be uploading that in the next day or two. She did another video. Yeah, check it out. If you have a few minutes, go to Morgan's Off the Leash. That's me. Uh, you'll see Hunter. You'll see the dogs, uh, Archie, Piper, Rue, and the girls. Yeah, daughter Hannah and daughter Eva in it. And uh, grandson Ty's in my videos. So check them out. That's Morgan's Off the Leash. Mike, maybe you can put a link like yeah, I'll right do that. here. I'll put it up above. And, um, Go check it out. I think you'll be impressed. Boy, it's a nice day, isn't it? It is a beautiful day. I was telling them earlier how we went from uh, summer to fall, like, overnight. Mm -hmm. We did. It's been beautiful. I love this time of year. So, I'm, I got this little red pine log on here right now. I need to make some 36-inch uh, live-edge slabs, and then I got to do a few other things for that little uh, project. Okay. So, that's what I'm working on. I shouldn't be too long, though. In a little bit, I'll come up and... Take you know who for a. Okay, he wants to work on something in the garage. Archie's learning about the sawdust pile. <laughs> what?
All right, those are all of the live edge slabs that I needed. And that worked out pretty good because that was just a six foot red pine log. Didn't have much use for it, you know, for anything else. So I got what I needed out of it. I don't know if you can see up there by the house, but the uh, hunt man, he's ready to go somewhere. I think I'll run him out for a bit and then come back and uh, get back to work. I kind of dropped the ball there today as far as uh, you know making sure everything was filled up and batteries charged You can probably see what I did there. I put a plank down on the mill first, secured it to the mill with the clamps, put the uh, five pieces of wood on there, strapped them tight with a ratchet strap, and then screwed them to the plank. It seems pretty secure. I should be okay. Got to be really careful doing this because if you would have one of those fall over or something like that, you're going to bend your blade, break it, possibly break something else. So hopefully everything's pretty secure and we'll be all right. Now I'm going to take a pass across the top there, get everything flat, and then we'll cut a bunch of cookies. So far, so good. They were kind of uh, wobbling around just a little bit. The more that I take off, 
the better it should get. Once you get everything set up, you can crank out those cookies pretty fast. There's 10 of them right there. I need uh, 25 total. I'll probably do 30, maybe even 35. We'll see what we get. All right, there you have it. I've got, uh, what do I have? I think 35 or 40 of the cookies. Way more than what I need. And like I said, some of them will split, but I don't think they'll split as bad as the hardwoods. And we'll want to get this bark off, but this tree has been down for a long time. The bark will come right off. We'll get them cleaned up. They'll dry just a little bit. Should be good to go. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. I appreciate you watching. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.